Welcome to the 20 year anniversary video of Ingaba Biotech, Africa's genomics company, here from our headquarters in Makkelnek, Pretoria, in South Africa. I'm Dr. Oliver Preisig, a co founder and the executive director of this unique company with currently around 150 employees in different countries in sub Saharan Africa. The idea of Ingaba Biotech emerged not far from here in Pretoria in the year 2000 while I was doing research at the University of Pretoria and saw the need for this specific type of company in South Africa. It took two years for the venture team of five to officially start the business in August 2002, as it was a major struggle to find the funds to do so. The startup was only possible with the substantial direct foreign investments, mainly from shareholders from Germany and Switzerland, as well as the startup loan from the State Secretariat for Economic Affairs of Switzerland. So what was actually our idea in 2000 to start the biotechnology company in South Africa? The aim was to locally produce oligonucleotides, which need to be custom made and therefore by local production the turnaround time dropped from two to three weeks for imported oligos at that time to one or two days. This of course allowed to accelerate research output for our customers that apply PC amplification and DNA sequencing in their research. And more recently, it allowed uninterrupted essential supply during the pandemic. In addition, we aimed to offer Sanger DNA sequencing services. The aim was here that outsourcing DNA samples for sequencing will allow our customers to save the investments in capital intensive sequencing instruments. 20 years later, we still do all these services, but of course the technologies in life sciences have significantly evolved in the past 20 years and so has Ingaba Biotech. A big thank you to all our customers, our dedicated current and former employees and commercial partners over all these years and of course our investors that took the risk and made this possible in 2002. Please enjoy this video about the different aspects of Ingaba Biotech. Let us know your comments, suggestions or questions about Ingaba Biotech in the comment section below. We strive to even be better in the next 20 years. With Ingaba Biotech celebrating 20 years, I've been with the company for over five years and I must say the years have been filled with a lot of growth and personal reflection. I started as a biotechnology graduate with no experience, only think of being a lab tech. But in our open my eyes to a lot of possibilities and I found my passion in the sales department. When Ingaba Biotech officially opened its door for business in August of 2002, we primarily offered primer synthesis as well as single DNA sequencing services. In 2007, Ingaba Biotech became the first company in Africa to offer NGS services based on the 454 sequencing platform, the GSFLX. This allowed our customer across the continent to be able to do whole genome sequencing for bacteria and many other microscopic organisms. With changing technology and research needs, we have had to increase our throughput throughout the years. We have now added to our fleet of NGS platform the state-of-the-art PEG BioSQL 2E system, which provide long reads of the highest quality or hi-fi reads in short to our customers. I've been part of the division since 2006. We've grown a lot since then from doing less than 24 sequences a day to now doing 496 or plates a day at the minimum. We offer the full core service from DNA extraction, PCR, we purify, we do the sequencing actions and clients have the option to send in samples at any one of those stages. So we try and keep our service as flexible as possible that anyone can actually use our service from basics all the way to full scientists. Within the Sanger department we also run Zoomics, which is the animal genetics division. Here we offer DNA profiles as well as health tests and color tests across the animal spectrum, anything from dogs to elephants. Many experiments require high quality DNA or RNA, especially for downstream analysis. For example, SNP genotyping on the mass ray system requires high quality DNA. At Ngava Biotech, we use a variety of Zymo kits for DNA or RNA isolation as they are not only simple and reliable, but effective and efficient, making your experiments hassle-free. It's a pleasure to talk about Ngava Biotech on your 20th birthday as I've been at the University of Pretoria for 
just 22 years so I've been a long-term user of Inquaba services uh, having a plant biotechnology laboratory here at the University of Pretoria in the Forestry and Agricultural Biotechnology Institute and one of the best associations we had early on with Inquaba Biotech was a microarray platform, training platform for the country where uh, Inquaba Biotech were partners and so we worked together with um, Inquaba personnel to set up training and build capacity in this important uh, biotechnology. And what's great about Inquaba Biotech is that they've been in our backyard here in Pretoria and uh, so one of the greatest things is that if we need oligos or reagents quick quick um, we can get it delivered uh, very quickly and that has been a great aspect of Inquaba Biotech. And in addition here at the University of Pretoria we have a biotechnology program and so we spend quite a bit of time telling our students about entrepreneurship and building small businesses and building them up and we use Inquaba Biotech as a role model in showing how you can start a small business and you can start with a service company and you can build it out to be even more ambitious services you know you've got into next generation sequencing over the years and uh, really build it into a, a company which has a, a footprint um, not only in South Africa but right the way through Africa. So I want to congratulate Dr. Oliver Preissig, well known to me for many many years on building such a good business together with all of his team members um, on your 20th birthday. Carver Biotech distributes some of the best and most prestigious brands in the genomics field. Under our life science consumables portfolio, we have New England Biolabs, who were founded in the mid-1970s as a collective of scientists committed to developing molecular biology reagents for the life science industry. Zyma Research, with 25 years experience, who has won multiple awards for their innovative thinking in developing DNA and RNA isolation kits, making them an industry leader in their field. The reputable Eppendorf brand, known for superior quality products and instruments. Other brands include Glentham Life Sciences for all biochemicals in various grades, as well as plastic consumables from our Swiss supplier, Nolato Treff Lab. We don't only supply life science consumables, we offer an extensive molecular diagnostics portfolio, which includes Seagene, the company very well known for its COVID testing kits during the pandemic. Under our instrument umbrella, we can assist with popular brands such as Nanodrop, Eppendorf, Ica and PacBio, just to name a few. Inkaba Biotech is the official distributor for these brands in Sub-Saharan Africa and has become the one-stop shop solution to most of our customers. We are therefore very proud to call ourselves Africa's genomics company. Inkaba Biotech has a footprint all throughout Sub-Saharan Africa and the way a company makes it happen is by having a very good logistical department. We have a dedicated team of staff members that does imports from all around the world and exports into Sub-Saharan Africa. The service department started in 2016. We service, maintain and repair all the instruments that we do supply. We have field service engineers that can go on site and do our services. And we've been growing ever since. I joined the company nine years ago. And as we celebrate 20 years of existence, I'm glad that I chose the best path for my career. In Kaba Biotech has promoted research in the region by providing quality products to researchers. To many more years in Kaba Biotech, your African genomics company. I've been in Kaba Biotech 12 years ago. I knew I wanted to impact the African research ecosystem. And since setting up in West and Central Africa, I am proud to have experienced a key role we play towards ensuring the scientists in the region are able to conduct world class research. As an intern, I've been exposed to so many different scientific procedures and I'm very excited to do and learn more. I have been with Inquaba since its inception in 2002. I believe a company is successful if you have an efficient admin and finance team. Inquaba is a phenomenal place to work in and I started off as a secretary and then moved on to be the admin manager. I handle all the financial aspects of the company with the, with the accountant. I am proud to say that we are audited every year and our finances are in good standing order. 
and this allows Inquaba to venture out into new business projects. Science is our passion and business, and so we strive for perfection. But it does not end there. At Inaba Biotech, we also care about our communities. And for some years, we've been supporting the Mukondeni Pottery in Limpopo. And also in the same village, we've been supporting a young entrepreneur to advance his business services. And recently, we've acquired this farm in Hamanskral to develop an agricultural community project. We also extend our community support in sub-Saharan Africa, such as in Kenya, where we support the Gogo Boys Football Club in Kibera slums in Nairobi. We hope our support makes a difference.